Hey you guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Himi Mia gouache and also their brush set. I've been using these for about a week now and I finally feel like I can give you guys a proper review on them. So if you guys want to see that and also see me do a little bit of a demonstration with these, keep on watching. If you guys aren't very familiar with gouache, they are said to be a more opaque watercolor, but I feel like they're also very close to acrylics. It really depends on how much water is added to them. They can go from very opaque straight out of their containers, but they can also be really translucent with a lot of water mixed to them. Some of them come in tubes and I have heard that those will react more like watercolor. They will, well, they will feel more like watercolor. But then they also come in cakes and also these jelly containers that honestly feel more like acrylic in their consistency. So if you guys have seen my unboxing video for these, I did a little demo, but that was actually a very loose painting. I added a lot of water to it. It was more like a compliment for the sketch I had under it rather than just a full-on gouache painting. So this time it's going to be different. I want it to be a full-on gouache painting so you guys can see the full potential of these paints and all the things you can do with them. These past few days, I've been painting with these. I have used them on top of my watercolor paintings. Mostly for my commissions, I use them to correct my mistakes with my watercolors. And I've done a few little sketches with these. And so far, they're, the techniques I've been using has been really different from my watercolor techniques. So you guys can see that I didn't fully open the containers they came in. I just opened them a little bit on the corners and reached into it to get only the amount of paint I'm gonna need for my current painting and that is because these things dry really fast. I've used them before and it was the same thing. I didn't finish all of my paints from before because they dried up almost within a few days of me opening them so this time I'm just gonna be doing it this way because I want them to be available <laughs> whenever I have the desire to paint with them. I don't want to I don't want to wait to reactivate them every time I try to use them. But these do reactivate really, really easily. You just need to add water and they even have their own uh, something like a liquid you can put on top of them to reactivate them into their normal consistency. But I just don't have the patience for that and I get really, really discouraged when I see them dry and I don't even want to paint with them when they're dry. So this time, I'm just going to be doing it this way. I've taped some watercolor paper on top of the lids. Then I did all of my swatches on them so I can see what colors they are. Today, I'm also going to be painting on non-watercolor paper on my sketchbook because the few times I've tried these before, they, I've tried them on pure watercolor paper. And essentially they work the same as watercolors. They still work great on watercolor paper, obviously. So this time I'm gonna be trying it on my sketchbook, which is where I wanna paint with them primarily. And it's also the reason why I've opted for a gouache instead of just my usual watercolors, because I wanted to paint on my favorite sketchbook rather than just do it on my other watercolor sketchbooks, which are really expensive. And I wanna be able to do a lot of color studies with these, so that's why I'm also painting on my sketchbook. Some of you may even recognize this sketch as one of the drawings I did for my last video, which is my sketching tips video. I intentionally left this one mostly bare compared to the others on this spread because I was already planning on painting over it with gouache. This reference photo is actually of Shosha Ronan. The, the proportions of the face aren't very accurate, but what I really wanted to take away from the photo is the colors and the lighting. I have been so used to painting with watercolors that honestly, every time I paint with gouache, it feels very nerve-wracking and I always feel out of my element. Because even the past few times I've tried these before, They've been mostly like compliments to my sketches or on top of my watercolor paintings, like I said, to correct my mistakes. Uh, there have been very few times that I have tried 
full on gouache paintings, so it still feels very new to me. I think most of the paintings I've done with gouache haven't been that successful, so this is still a very scary medium for me. And at first I didn't even really know what I was doing. It, honestly, a lot of the times as I was doing this painting, I felt like I should have just scrapped it and tried again. I did try initially to just block the colors in to know the composition at first, but then I never knew if I was picking the right colors for the mood that I want. And I was also struggling a lot with the consistency. It's very difficult to get the right consistency that I want. Sometimes I make it too watery where it would just almost tear into my non-watercolor paper. And then on the opposite end, I would make it too thick. It would be hard for me to blend. But the beauty with gouache is that it layers very beautifully. If you ever make a mistake, you can just go over it with a more opaque layer and you, you would be able to cover it. And then it's very easy to add more layers on top of your existing colors to keep adjusting it until you're able to get the colors that you want. And then I also want to talk about these brushes because every time I've been using my gouache paint, I've used these brushes for them and I think they're great. I think they're amazing and they're perfect for gouache. I love how the bristles are just stiff enough to still get that painterly effect that I want for my paintings because I don't want to blend too well with my paintings. I want to keep the strokes into them. That's just how I want my paintings to look like. And then I'm also someone who's not very gentle with her brushes. These are great. They won't just break very easily and they won't just bend very easily. I read a review that said he tried to clean the, these brushes and they look like they underwent chemotherapy, which I think is a little out there. I never had a problem cleaning these. They, they didn't shed at all. And then the one problem that I was anticipating when I first unboxed these brushes was that the handles would be too long. They honestly look like they could be a bit of a problem because I've had brushes that I felt like would just feel very awkward because of how long their handles are. But on these ones, I feel like they're just right. I feel like if they were an inch longer than they are, then it would be a problem. But these ones are perfect. I haven't noticed the long handles on them. And I also just think if they're really pretty brushes, which it might be very shallow, but it makes me want to paint with them. So that's, that's great. So on this video, I'm only gonna be using the smaller brushes, but that's just because I am painting on a very small paper. But actually, I've used all of these brushes. They all are the same. I, I think they're all made of the same materials. They all work great. So, so with watercolors, you wanna go from light to dark. That's just how you wanna build up your colors when you're using watercolors. But with gouache, I feel like you can go either way. It really just depends on how much water you add to them. You can go dark to light. You just have to make sure you don't add too much water to it because with gouache, the more water you add, the more it's gonna lose its opacity. So you won't be able to layer your lighter colors on top of the darker colors that you already have. So in conclusion, I love these paints and I also really love these brushes which I didn't expect to. I'm going to be painting with these a lot more on my sketchbook because now I know it will work well on non-watercolor paper too. But that is it for my review on, on these paints and these brushes. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the video without me talking over it. And again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon.